Hey guys, my name is Chetanya Snuri and today I am going to show you how to downgrade your Galaxy from Lollipop to KitKat. You need Odin, Kais and Firmware file for it. Links for these files will be in the description. First of all, you need Kais installed in your PC so as to have all the drivers of your phone installed in the PC. I have Galaxy S4 right now so I am going to show you how to downgrade Galaxy S4. First of all, we are going to download the firmware file. For it, we need to go to sammobile.com. Then we are going to go in firmware and type in our model number. We are going to select our country right here and choose the 4.4.2 file and we are going to do a regular download. You have to have a account for it to download. I'm just going to log in my account. After logging in, this is what we get confirm download, and we're just going to download the file. It's about 1.4 GB, so I'm going to fast forward it. So, here you can see the file is already downloaded, and we're just going to open it and extract it out. To make this process faster, I have already extracted the file. And now you have to download the Odin file. The link is in the description. And you have to extract that file as well. Here's what you get and we are going to start the Odin. Now we are just going to connect our phone. Now that the phone is connected, you can see that there is a blue light over here. Now we are just gonna put the phone into download mode. For that, we just have to power off the phone. Now we just have to press volume down key, home key and power key. And we are gonna press volume up key. Now the phone should be connected to OD once again. Now that the device is connected, we are just going to click on AP and, the, and select the file we have extracted. It takes some time, so we are just going to wait. Now we are just going to press start and the flashing will just start. It will take about 5 minutes, so I will be back. The phone is now restarting. Some people face the problem of phone getting stuck in boot loop. So to fix that, what we're gonna do is switch off the phone. You can do it by removing the battery or just pressing the power key for a long time. Now we're gonna go in recovery by pressing volume up key, home key and power key. And we're just gonna wipe data and factory reset. To wipe data and factory reset, we are just gonna go down by pressing volume down key and pressing power key on it. Now we are just gonna reboot the device. Now you can hear the Samsung startup sound. The device just booted and I'm gonna set up it. Well you can see that I'm not getting any signal. This is the problem many people face after downgrading to KitKat. We're just gonna check the EMI number of my phone 
well you can see that the AMI number is showing null so to fix that now what we are gonna do is go back to sammobile.com go back to firmware enter your model number once again select your country and download the latest firmware to speed up the process I've already downloaded the file once the file is downloaded open it with WinRAR extract the md5 file after extracting the md5 file open it with WinRAR once again and there must be a modem.bin file in it extract it out and once again we are going to put our device into downloading mode and we are going to connect the phone to Odin and we are going to click on CP and select the modem.bin start the process and the device will just reboot As you can see, now I am getting signals. Well, thanks for watching, guys.